American Sniper, so a big hit. All right, so over the last month, you guys have generously sent quite a bit of fan mail. I actually was hoping to do a fan mail video last week, but something happened last week. What did we do last week? We went to the beach. We went to the beach and I ran out of time before we left to be able to film the fan mail. So I actually have two fan mails in the next week. And let's get started with this one. And you wanted to start with this one? This guy right here? Yeah. This is from Brett Colombo. Thank you, Brett. And All on right. the day we were leaving the beach, we went to sh some shops and I got this. We also got some bacon flavored cotton candy. So, you know, you think cotton candy, you think bacon. At least that's what I think, right? Yeah. And pickle flavored is what my uh, sister bought. There you go. You know, there you go. Yeah. People, anytime you guys are in here with the knife, they get worried that you're gonna slice your fingers. So I'm trying to be a little. Hey, oh, look, we, we cut the paper. Cut the note a little bit. Okay. Look at that. We got, got a movie in here, and it is. Swamp Thing. Oh, Swamp Thing. Oh, I haven't watched this yet. I watched the Swamp Thing um, movies over the last couple of months because of my DC ranking. I haven't actually watched the TV show yet, but I've only heard great things about it. And so I'm curious to check it out. So that that is awesome. But you also had a note in here. Right, so let me check this guy out and I will read it. You leaving? What are you, what are you doing? This. What? <laughs> You're back, all right. Okay, so basically Brett said he was watching my DC rankings and that inspired him to send this over. It was a show that he enjoyed, wanted to hear my thoughts on it. And uh, so that is greatly appreciated because especially in this case, it's one that I haven't seen yet. And he mentioned that he started his own movie channel, Brett's Movie Reviews partially inspired by me, which is which is very, very cool. So thank you so much, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, he's someone I chat with a good bit on Instagram. Uh, and so if you guys ever wanna get a hold of me, Instagram's the best place to, to do so. All right, this one is from Daniel Skinner. We actually have two packages from Daniel Skinner. This is the first one. Ooh, got quite a bit of stuff in here. Okay, these are nice scary movies for you, it looks like. First off, we've got the Mummy, the one from a few years back um, that, I, I don't know, I, 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 like I understand why some people had criticisms of it, but I actually had a pretty good time with it. Um, certainly tonally uneven, it had problems, but I thought it had a good bit of entertainment value too. Then we had the 4Ks of both of Angelina Jolie's Tomb Raider movies. Then, oh, here's one for you, Chloe. Scary stories to tell in the dark. He didn't, she didn't even react like a little bit. Ah! There we go. I was hoping to get a reaction. Scary stories to tell them. They're, they're actually at the age now where they'll start reading the, the, the books. That's what I, I read, you know, the, the books for scary stories to tell in the dark um, from the book fairs that they would do at school. And so the kids always had those. And so like I grew up on, on those books and now my kids are the age where they could start buying them at the book fair. Then we have, here's one that I've, I've been meaning to, to watch through with Mr. Liam. Star Wars Rebels. Here's one, I have no idea what this is. Uh, Air Bud presents Russell Madness. I, I have no idea what that is, but it's a talking dog movie, it looks like, so I'm sure you'll love this one. Uh, that one seems right up your alley. Then um, we have the classic mummy collection of the old school original monster movies with the mummy. And then here, here's one. Almost every single day I get asked about this movie, Spirited Away. Earlier today, someone asked me, hey, what do you think about Spirited Away? And one of the most celebrated animated films of all time. And then in the similar Studio Ghibli family, Princess Minoki. I have not seen this one. I have seen Spirited Away, uh, watched it with my buddy Andy, but I haven't seen this one. You don't want to turn away too much from the camera because they want to watch us. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then uh, Princess Milky, that I, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but so thank you so much. There's some great, great picks in there and ones that I know people have many questions on what I think about them. All right, knife this guy, knife it, knife it, knife it. Carefully, but dangerous enough that it concerns people. No, that's, you got the knife back. What, 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 yeah. there, there you go. There you go. Okay, I think you cut my finger. Whew. You cut your fingers all the time. Oh, okay. 
Excellent. So, mm. what's this? It is how 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 hotel hotel how Transylvania three two and then that. Uh, so three, two, and I think it's the first movie, and it includes a mini movie. So all of the Hotel Transylvania stuff. The fourth movie comes out at the beginning of October, and I've been trying to figure out what to if I want if I'm going to be able to cover that or not. Now I have the other movies that kind of removes one of the hurdles to be able to cover it. Um, I didn't see a note in here um, to to know who it's from to give you a personalized shout out and thank yous. I didn't see that in there, but. Thank you so much. Um, like I'm very much, part of the problems I'm running to right now is that October is so stacked. On the same day, you have Hotel Transylvania and Adam's Family. A week later, you have James Bond. Then you have Danny Villeneuve's uh, Dune, which I want to do a Danny Villeneuve ranking. And then you also have a Wes Anderson movie coming out. You have Halloween coming out. You have Venom 2 coming out. And it's all like in a three week period of time. And so I'm trying to figure out how to cover everything and get everything watched to be able to do all of that. But that's, yeah. Hotel Transylvania is literally a movie that my wife and I we're talking about just a few days ago. This is another one from Daniel Skinner. Cut right here. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can try. It's made out of adamantium, actually. It's indestructible. What is this? Okay, so we've got a Thor figure. Another one of these. He sent me one of these uh, last month as well. So, a second Thor figure. Then, what is this one right here? Also. Oh, you, just, you have to have your own little binoculars right there. Um, I, I don't know exactly how it ties into things, but binoculars are always a big hit in our household. Ooh, that was... Staring at a bright light with binoculars is not the best idea. I'll, I'll try not to do that in the future. So I guess, I guess there's some way that they shoot balls, I think is how that works, but I'm not quite sure. And then we've got three more movies from Mr. Skinner. Hansel Gretel... Gretel... Witch Hunters. I've never seen this one. I've been curious about it ever since it came out, but I just the uh, opportunity hasn't come up for me to watch it, so I haven't seen it yet. And we have Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I've never seen this one, but you guys have, right? Definitely. I've seen both of them. Both of them? Are they good? Yes. Am I going to love it? I don't know. It's from the director of the Lego movie. Okay. Now she got super pumped about that as soon as I mentioned the Lego movie. And then we have Incendies. It's and Cindy's, I guess that's one of the Denny Villeneuve's, yeah, it's one of the Denny Villeneuve's pre-Hollywood films. This is a gentleman that knows that I'm prep prepping for that Denny Villeneuve ranking that I mentioned a little bit before, and so he's trying to encourage me to cover his non-Hollywood stuff as well as his Hollywood stuff. Finally, that'll bring us to this package from Some Neat. He, I was, this one almost made it into my last unboxing, but it came just literally like a day or two too late. And so I just had to get the previous video shot. Wait, these are made out of the same thing. Really? What is that about? Huh. Oh, cool. I don't know. Interesting. Huh. Is that a oh, secret? What is, it's, is that a shooter? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So. He sent this package. I've been waiting to do another fan mail opening, and I want, that's really the big reason I wanted to do it last week, because uh, I had it, and then the vacation stuff just messed up my time. So tear that, grab, grab right there. He, he said this is gonna be a good one, so I am pumped to see what, what is in here, and we have got a whole lot of stuff in here. Woo! Holy guacamole, this is wild. I, I've never known how to count. Wow, this is, this is cool. Uh, so, all right, let's, let's mic our way through all the stuff that he very graciously said. As I mentioned before, it's from some neat. First off is a double feature of Shooter and Four Brothers. I haven't seen Four Brothers, but Shooter is an action thriller that I've seen many, many, many times. I love movies like that. Always love to rewatch Shooter, but I don't, it's just not in my collection yet, so that's that's one that I've been very much looking forward to. Uh, and then a 4K of Captain Marvel, which actually, big update, I don't think I've actually said this in a video. It's been a major, major plot point in my Blu-ray haul videos as well as my fan mail videos, is that I, I, have a, I bought a 4K TV a year ago, right before the PlayStation 5 came out, but I haven't been able to get a PlayStation 5, so I haven't had a 4K player for my 4K TV, but, I invited my neighbor over to watch one of the recent Disney premieres with me, 
watching it, you know, a few days early, uh, but a week before it came out, actually it was Black Widow. And I mentioned I didn't have a 4K player. And as soon as I said it, he goes, I've got an extra one. And he gave me a 4K player. So I actually do have a 4K player to properly watch all the 4Ks I've been collecting to future-proof my collection. And so now, whenever I restart watching the through the MCU again, which I plan on doing, I guess now, uh, that's actually something that's like something I'm planning on. It's on my list of movies to watch over the next few months. I can watch them in pristine 4K on my TV for the first time. You've sent more more movies than we had before. Yes, yeah, like he, he sent like a, a, a very graciously sent a bunch of very cool stuff. Then we have Infinity War, one of my absolute favorite comic book movies of all time in 4K. We have Hannibal Rising. Um, the prequel for Hannibal. I actually did a Hannibal ranking just a few months back. This one actually can be tough to find. It's not actually regularly in circulation. It's kind of, I don't know, it's that, I don't know, whatever the reason for that is, is that they, they haven't released it. Hey, Chloe, uh, did you forget? Oh, there's a light on there. So we were actually like shooting a video over here if you forgot. No, you we're got, not. We're you totally got, not shooting got a video. Got wrapped up in your own little world there for a second. Um, but. When I, I did that ranking, it was actually a little bit difficult to track this movie down, and uh, it, it wasn't in like the other Blu-ray sets that he, I guess he sent me about a year ago. And so finally, the co collection is complete. Along those lines, Red Dragon, another one of the Hannibal Lecter films. Then we have The Strangers 1 and 2. I haven't seen either one of these movies, so these would be first time viewings for me. I, I actually don't even know the premise of them. So uh, very curious about that. And we have Rambo First Blood Part 2, obviously Stallone's my favorite actor, have been, I was raised on the Rambo movies, and so seeing them in pristine 4K, uh, I love it, love it, love it. Then we have American Sniper, the Clint Eastwood movie from a few years back with Bradley Cooper, and um, a, about uh, Chris Cotton, who's actually a Texas boy, and so, People in Texas love American Sniper, so uh, a nice little, I don't think my wife saw it when I went to go see it, so that's one that finally oh, she can get no. to get to watch no. with me. What, how did you hurt your nose? Wait. I hurt my eye. How did you hurt your eye? Next up, we have The Collection. Another movie, I haven't seen any of the movies in this series, but my good buddy, Cody Leach, raves about them, says wonderful things. Apparently there's a third movie coming out at some point in time in the foreseeable future. So I was actually looking to potentially rank these movies, check them out, because I've, I've heard great things from someone that knows, generally speaking, the types of movies that I like, and he's recommending them. So they've been on my radar for years now, I just haven't had the moment to, to pause and actually watch them. Next up, we have Mortal Kombat from this year. I, I got a kick out of this one. Um, I, I, like, I'm excited, it looks like they're gonna do a sequel with the tournament, but for what it was, they got enough of the things right that they needed to get right that I had, a, I had a good time with this one and look forward to watching it again. Then we have King Kong, and this is 76. Yeah, King Kong 76. I've actually never seen this one. My wife loves big creature movies, so I bet she'd be look forward to watch that one with me. Then we have Speed in 4K. Speed was one of those formative movies for me. Have you, are you looking forward to watching Speed? Do you like buses? Do you like Keanu Reeves? Do you like witty dialogue from Joss Whedon? She's not reacting again. Uh, but this is uh, wow. one of those early, first one of the first rated R movies I saw in the theater and I've loved it ever since. And it was the movie that really propelled Sandra Bullock to what stardom. What is that? What is what? what That's a bus. What? The bus, if it goes under 60 miles per hour, it explodes. So they have to keep driving at 60 miles per hour while trying to get the people off without getting them blown to pieces. Sounds pretty cool, right? Okay. Then we have Grudge Match, the movie that pits Rocky vs. The Raging Bull. I saw this one in the theater, actually opening night when it first came out. This was my introduction to Kevin Hart when it happened. And uh, it's one that I, I've been meaning to revisit because obviously I love Stallone, I love boxing movies, Robert Tino is a great actor, and it's got Kevin Hart who I'm much more familiar with now than I was when I first watched this movie. So a nice little pick. Then we, oh, bullet to the head. This is the Stallone thriller from I don't know, about 10 years back that also has Jason Momoa in it. And I, I enjoyed this when I first watched it, but I just haven't rewatched it. So it's it's about time to Eyes give. And matches. Well, you know, sometimes they get bored while I'm filming. And so then you just pull some matches out. 
and you just light fires. Eh? Pretty cool, right? Eh? I thought we were gonna play with fire for a little bit. You're the fire starter. Eh, fire. Next up, a three movie collection where we got Speed, which actually is just the 4K right over there. Broken Arrow, one of John Woo's early Hollywood movies, right in kind of that, during the middle of uh, John Travolta re 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 Renaissance, where his career had a big comeback. Um, and then Entrapment, the movie that was right towards the end of when Sean Connery start, uh, retired. And as Catherine Zetas Jones was on the um, uptick and has a legendary shot of her making her way through lasers. Then, okay, I, thought, I imagine this was in there. Here's the other movie in the Collector series. I already talked about, ah, talked about those. All right, then we got a four pack of movies for children. We got Legends of the Guardian, Guardians of Galhul, the Zack Snyder owl movie. Where the Wild Things Are, that's a book that I read growing up, but I've never seen the movie, actually. We got Yogi Bear. Are you a fan of Yogi Bear? I've never seen that. You've never, you've never experienced Yogi Bear? And then Space Jam once again. The Common original. theme for the month. The original one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Double feature of Space Jam in the 4K. Um, I actually ended up getting a couple of these in the last few weeks, so that's unfortunate the way that played out. But it's like Space Jam has been a major theme within our house over recently. And finally, this one fits nicely with what I've been watching and listening to recently. Halloween 2018 in 4K. Did you want to play with matches just a little bit more before we were over? I actually just today finished listening to a, an audio book about the making of all the Halloween films. And so the last one they talked about was Halloween 2018. So I'm actually very excited uh, to watch through all the Halloween movies and um, rank them and talk about them a bit now that I've kind of have all this backstory and everything that happened and getting to watch one and watch some of them in pristine 4K sounds amazing. Any final thoughts for us, Chloe? Play with fire. Play with fire. That's a common theme in our household, and it's done us well. And I've made it to this point in time, and so has she, so it must be totally safe. <sighs> All right. Thank you guys so much for your generosity. It, it's greatly appreciated. It, I say it every video, but I really mean it. It means the world to me that people would care enough to think think about me while they're at the video store, watch a movie and think, I wanna share this with Sean, means the world to me. So thank you guys so much and uh, keep talking movies, TV too much. The address is down below, see you later. And this is hot. Probably from the fire. Oh, we didn't light fire, we did. Yeah, we did, just a Goodbye, little bit of fire. Goodbye, my seahorse needs to say something. Goodbye. <laughs>